Hello, everybody. Welcome to Japan. This is the B-League. It's Utsunomiya Brex taking on Chiba Jets, a battle of heavyweights. Uh, Utsunomiya Brex, without a doubt, uh, title contenders again this season. And you would think that Chiba Jets would be as well, but they have uh, they've had a a slow start, perhaps coupled with uh, some action in the East Asian Super League and, well, uh, tough, tough schedule for them. But here they are knocking on the door right on the outside of the playoff positions coming into this game. Chiba Jets uh, have been on again, off again, really, with wins and losses this season. In the B League itself, uh, they split their last two encounters against Sunrockers Shibuya. You look at the standings, and in the East, Brex up in second place, Chiba Jets third. See, Albark Tokyo up at 18-3, and three, so still well within reach for Brex. Uh, but a lot of work to do for Chiba Jets if they're going to, first of all, uh, get into that second spot uh, four games behind Utsunomiya Brex, and, and then also to chase down Alvark Tokyo. But the top two from each division, plus uh, the best two teams uh, will advance, so uh, they still got their chances. Brex uh, just have a, a star-studded lineup uh, that we're going get to get a chance to watch today. You can see uh, the likes of Hijima, Endo, Takeuchi, uh, Newbill, Fotu, There's Newbill, one of the top players in this competition this season. They've also got Watanabe, Takashima, Kishi, Ikaru, and Grant Jarrett, who has been fantastic. So really no let off at all for this team. And we're going to highlight uh, Ikaruga and uh, the 29-year-old point guard who has been making some big plays this season. Comes in averaging 5.3 points, three rebounds, and 2.9 assists. But a, a player that always seems to be in the game at the big moments for his team. And he relishes those moments. Averaging uh, almost 24 minutes per game. For Chiba Jets, well, this is, again, it's a lineup. Maybe not quite as good as last season. Uh, but certainly a potent lineup with uh, Yuki Tagashi, one of the all-time greats. Still trying to get Xavier Crooks to really gel with this team. They've got Okura, uh, Mooney, one of the stars, their big man, Ira Brown, Japan International. Then they've got Agawa, Nishimura, Stevens. Stevens' uh, top player, Tobin, and Arayo coming off the bench. So coming off the bench for Coach John Patrick who led the team on that record-winning streak last season. They won the Emperor's Cup, and then they fell in the final. And Tagashi, again, just uh, a winner in every sense of the word. And I know his national team coach, Tom Hovass, has the utmost uh, respect uh, for him because of his competitiveness, his desire and uh, his ability to focus in the difficult moments and his willingness to step up and take the big shots. Been a league MVP, and he'll be playing at the Olympics uh, after Japan qualified for the Olympics uh, with their uh, best finish as the best Asian team at the FIBA Basketball World Cup this summer. And if you think about Tagashi, in fact, uh, coming into this game, uh, averaging 19.9 points, 2.1 rebounds, 5 assists per game. So starting five, you can see Tagashi, Xavier Cooks, Soto Okura, John Mooney, and Ira Brown. Mooney, of course, uh, just a, a stat stuffer. Uh, but he does it in the framework of the team, 17.9 points. 12.5 rebounds, 2.4 assists.
When you talk about Brex and uh, the success that they're having this year, you have to point to uh, one of their Japan internationals, uh, Makoto Hiyajima, always uh, bringing that steady supply of points. Uh, you love the play, the gritty play of Yusuke Endo. And uh, Kosuke Takeuchi, for my money, has really been a nice introduction to this lineup. <clears throat> Watching him play recently, he's also a longtime Japan international. New Bill, without question, I think probably the team's biggest star or biggest talent at 15.3 points, five rebounds, 4.4 assists. Nice little uh, disco move there. And Ikaruga, who we highlighted earlier, Isaac Fotu, also having a fine season at 12.1 points, 6.9 rebounds. Now, that's Jarrett. And Jarrett, 8.3 points, 7.1 rebounds. He's perfect for this league, though, because he can step outside. He can knock down the three-pointers. But we'll get a look at the at the starters coming out for Utsunomiya. And I'm guessing we're going to see Hiyajima first, since he wears number six. Almost feels like the eye of the tiger. Part of the uh, the greatness of this competition, the B-League, is not just the actual basketball. It's the show around the basketball. And you know what? I'm not sure there's any anywhere else in the world that does a, a pregame show uh, the way the Japanese clubs do it. They get their fans rocking and rolling uh, before the game, and that has to be a huge lift uh, for their players, uh, but also for the opposing team. You know that it really gets them psyched up, and it, it all adds up to just a high-intense affair of B-League basketball that's making this competition better and better. Okay, so Isaac Fotu is going to lead them out. The New Zealand international, the tall black, wears number 42. I understand because of his name, Fotu. There's Takeuchi. DJ Newbill, who really has impressed me with how he lets the game come to him. Kosuke Yindu. Oh, boy, I've decided this uh, this game might break out into a breakdance later today, the way these guys are coming out and enjoying themselves. And Makoto Hiyajima, I'm pretty sure that Norio Sasa uh, will not be doing any dancing, at least during the game, maybe after. So the referees for today's game. And again, a look at the starting fives for both teams. Hiyajima, Takeuchi, Nubil, Fotu, and uh, also Endo, and then for Chiba Jets, Tagashi Cooks, Okura, Mooney, and Brown. Chiba Jets, who fell in the final last year to the Ryuku Golden Kings, We're looking to get back into the playoff places. And we're underway here at Utsunomiya Brex. And again, what promises to be a great game in the Nikan Arena Togichi Tochigi. Tochigi, excuse me.
First shot is a three, it's no good, but Mooney with the rebound. Here's Tagashi. Tagashi is off and running. Look out, folks. If Tagashi knocks down his first three pointer, that's very uh, usually a good sign for Chiba Jets uh, from the games that I've covered. Endo backing up Tagashi. His skip pass attempt deflected away by Cooks. Ira Brown lets it fly. There is Hiyajima. O2 backs down low, puts it up, and he misses. So the tall black getting into a good spot there, but not capitalizing. And now traveling is the call on Cooks. You know, this is a guy that was in the NBA earlier this season, had that spectacular form in the Australian NBL, played well for Australia at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Cooks is a player that can really elevate his game and the play of Chiba Jets. I think that's what they're, they're counting on. Certainly John Patrick is. Here's Newbill. And the putback not there. Now Fotu gets it and does not get it to drop. Has to settle for two free throws. Isaac Fotu really has found a place, a comfort zone in Japan. I mean, he played in the big leagues in Europe. Obviously, he played some college basketball in America and Hawaii. Played in Spain, played in Italy, played in Germany. Uh, but he seems to be really happy in Japan whenever you see him competing in his social media. Well, Cooks fouled as he gets it down low. So Cooks going to the line. I mean, he is a dynamic player. He can drive, he can shoot it. And he just knifed his way in there. Endo needs to get into that spot a little bit faster. Maybe don't reach. Seal it with his legs. So Cooks makes the first. I know that the people down under are a real big fan of Xavier Cooks. And Cooks makes the second, and it's a 5-1 lead for the Chiba Jets. Again, Chiba third in the east behind Utsunomiya. See the 12 and 9, Usanami at 12 and 5. Alvark Tokyo flying high at the top at 18 and 3. They have been spectacular. Here's Endo, down low to Fotu. Fotu with the looking old school with the hook shot. What you got love about him. And the ball knocked away. And another opportunity for Brex. Endo. Pulls up and knocks down the three. Boy, that is going to put some gray hairs on the head of John Patrick, giving away a cheap bucket like that. And not only a cheap bucket, but a cheap a three-pointer after the turnover. Great double-team trap. Hey, basketball's a pretty pretty simple game. You gotta know that with a double team comes, somebody's gotta be open. And that somebody needs to be moving and making himself available. Here's Cooks. And that was a little bit long.
Newbill spins back outside to Takeuchi. So two. Hands it off to Hiyajima. Hiyajima. Takeuchi. Newbill. Takeuchi moving around pretty well out there. And Newbill strokes another jump shot. And John Patrick has seen enough. So timeout on the court. So Brex knocking it away from Tagashi. And that leads to the bucket, the three pointer. Newbill got the steal, got credit for the steal. So by calling the timeout, Patrick is going to use that as a way to get some reinforcements in the game. Stevens and Arayo check into the game. Batted away, another turnover. And Chiba, they are struggling already. Here's Newbill, gets, gets it to Fotu, and uh, Fotu denied. Now Cooks crosses midcourt, looks at his options, passes it back outside. Tagashi steps in to a three, it's not there, but the long rebound chased down by Stevens, but he couldn't corral it, and Newbill comes up with a basketball. Now Hiyajima. Endo back to Fotu. They pass it. They get the open look for Hiyajima. He knocks it down. Makoto Hiyajima. And it has to be worrying coming out of a timeout that Chiba turned the ball over, give away another open look. Here's Cooks. And Cooks doesn't turn it over. And they keep it. And oh, excellent reaction. Excellent reaction by uh, Okura. Only averages four, four and a half points per game, Okura. But that was a big one. Stop the rot. Endo, turn around, no good. Here's Stevens, now a chance to run the open floor. Tagachi, what will he do? Oh, Brex got back. A little bit of a delayed move by Tagashi. And now driving in, and another drive and another layup for Akura. Oh, he's bringing the spark. Yajima, he just knocked down a three. He's dancing around, gets the defense on his back, then drives in, misses the shot. Boy, he did all the hard work. He got to where he wanted to be, and then he missed the shot. Tagashi, sidesteps. Oh, well, maybe I spoke too soon. He didn't make that first three. That one stays out. And a foul called on Endo, who's beside himself for throwing his, his arm, his elbow. Watch this. Yeah, yeah, come on. That's just way too much. 
aggression when it's not needed. Man, when you're flailing your arms and your elbows and then you kind of barge into the defender, I mean, you can see that Cooks was quite surprised <laughs> that he was even doing it. So a good call by the referee. Mooney has it, puts it up and knocks it down. foul on Akura a long way, or no, excuse me, that's a foul on Ogawa who's checked into the game. Eleven apiece, Chiba showing signs of recovering from their slow start to the game. Newville, look at it, hoop, gets it over to Takeuchi. Great hustle. And the ball saved in bounds, and Shiba come up with it. Great hustle by Ikoruga. Here's Stevens. And the wide open three. He knocks it down, and that is now going to lead to a timeout for Norio Sasa. That was not a, a save. Oh, boy. Somehow I missed that behind the back pass from Tagashi. A little bit of... Uh, Panache. It's not necessarily a bad idea to save the ball in bounds. You definitely don't want to save it underneath the other team's basket, but that type of pass almost triggered a fast break. Sometimes you almost have to think about maybe don't try to save it. Let it go. Watanabe checks into the game for Brex. Yeah, that's another of those uh, veterans that can really help him out. Yanori Watanabe. Kind of slow things down a little bit. And the pass to Fotu. Boy, he looks strong on that drive. Looking like Peru Cameron. Legendary very tall black. Here's the drive. Oh, goodness me. Did you see that dunk from John Mooney? Two-handed flush. And now the foul has been called. We saw some serious athleticism and length from Mooney on the dunk. And Stevens definitely with the foul. That'll be one of the plays of the game, Mooney. Flying through the air and sending it home with two hands. Go two. Spins, puts it up. Oh, it's a soft touch, it just didn't drop. Now Tagashi Mooney again goes up. Oh, he gets rejected this time from Jarrett. Jarrett's having none of it. Get it out of here. This is my house. Look at this again. Mooney, he just had the big dunk. And then he's reminded that you have to bring it strong always by Grant Jarrett. Eight minutes into the game. It's Chiba Jets up by three and remains at three after that missed three. Garuga, we highlighted at the start of the game. Watanabe from the line, has it knocked out of his hands. Brown 
Rebound and has it to Tagashi. Showing us the, the handles. And Tagashi goes in and pops it. I mean, there are moments when we're looking at this Chiba Jets team and they are just breathtakingly good. They just got to cut out the mistakes. Igaruga from the wing, wide open, and well, you're just asking for trouble. Got to guard somebody. And now the turnover, and again, it's those mistakes that have been plaguing this Chiba Jets team this season. Not quite as sharp. And the foul has been called. I mean, you don't have to be a great shooting team, but what you can't be is a turnover team. Uh, that was definitely a grab and a hold by Ogawa. So he's going to sit down. Interesting, interesting to hear the comments from John Patrick on Ogawa this season. The way he played last year, he was like taking the world by storm. And I'm just wondering if that second season has proven, has proven to be a little bit harder for him. Having raised expectations. Fotu gets blocked. Well, we're having a block party. How about Brown? Look at this extension. Get it out of here. I don't care if this is your home. They're battling for the rebound. And the reach of the foul on Chiba. Nishimura. Like that should have either been Cooks or Mooney who got the basketball, and they may have gotten tangled up, leading to the to the ball going to Ikaruga. Oh, Japan home to the world's. Highest paid athlete in Otani, the great, the baseball great. He's going to be playing for the LA Dodgers. Uh, but this crowd is loving the basketball. The terrific environment, terrific vibe. Okura getting away. And now the ball knocked out of his hands. And again, it's, it's just so important as you look at the foul. So important if you're a basketball country to have a good national team, which they do now. They, you know, it's, uh, I think it's a lot easier in the women's game to move, move up faster in the rankings. And that was a great achievement by the Japanese women to get to the Olympic final. Uh, but the men are definitely making progress. And the B-League is a big part of that. Seeing it week in and week out. Look at that. Hooping and scooping. He misses it. Then Mooney had the offensive rebound. Both Tagashi and Mooney just uncharacteristically leaving it well short on both attempts. And now coming out and the foul on Fotu, the moving screen. And I think uh, Tagashi did a great job of selling that because it didn't look like a foul to me. You can understand why Po2 was somewhat bemused by the call. Here's the bounce pass. Final seconds taking off the clock. Tagashi. Well, they usually say ball don't lie when you go to the free throw line after a foul, but I think the ball didn't lie there because he missed everything on the three point attempt. It's Chiba Jets leading it 18 to 17 at the end of one.
What a beautiful finish from Jarrett. A reverse is back to the basket. So Hiyajima comes back into the game. Stevens getting some instructions. Ikaruga has it. Yujima, that patented three boy. I'm not sure there's a better three point shooter in this game than Hiyajima. We talked about Tagashi at the start of the game, but Hiyajima is just natural, pure. Stevens misses, they battle, and Brex come down with it, and this second quarter has been good to them. Uh-oh, on the break, Hiyajima. Well, he had made his first two closer to the top of the key, more towards the middle of the court. So timeout on the floor here again. Hiyajima, I think that's his favorite spot right there at the top of the key. Catch and shoot, coming off a screen. John Patrick calling the shots. Both of his sons uh, still playing basketball back in Germany at MHP Riesen Lewisburg, where he used to coach. Patrick played the game himself. He's a really good player, but is an even better coach. Uh, which he has uh, showed it. Everywhere he's been, really, whether it's been Würzburg, or not, excuse me, not Würzburg, uh, but in Germany, and certainly with MHP Reason, Lewisburg. Newbilt back in the game. That could spell trouble. Here he goes again. Steps back, puts it up. Uh, Grant Jarrett and Takeuchi, excuse me, going up. And again, great hustle from Ikaruga. Yeah, John, John coached at Gottingen. That's what I was thinking of. 2003 to 2005, then he was with... Uh, Alvark Tokyo first season, then went back to Gottingen, then he went to S. Oliver Baskets, then he was at M. Hot Bay Reese in Lewisburg for nine seasons before the before coming to the Chiba Jets in 2022. And now the pass gets away. Um, another turnover is going to lead to a substitution. And it's going to be Stevens that goes out. So some frustrating moments. Chiba Jets endured this a little bit in the first quarter, but overcame it, came back. And here they are now kind of going through a funk with turnovers.
Grant Jarrett. I mean, Jarrett could be the key to this team going all the way this year. If he plays at the level that he's been at, he is just excellent on both ends of the floor. Here he is hustling. Now he's going to post up Ira Brown and Newbuild instead. Is going to take it all the way, and he is going to get the foul called on Cooks. I mean, that is a tough foul to call on Cooks. He was definitely moving his feet in the right way, and he was upright, and it was clearly new Bill who was initiating the contact. I mean, if anything, just don't make the call, but it's a bit harsh to call that on Cooks. And as they say, ball don't lie. And look at that. Newville misses both. That's got to be one of the all great basketball expressions. Ball don't lie. Ball does not lie. If it's a, a tough call in the defense. Well, a little bit of extra effort from Mooney there. And they keep possession. Here's Akura for three. And still can't get the bucket. Offense drying up a little bit right now for this Chiba Jets team. Jarrett takes it deep. He's got two free throws. Tough assignment. Uh, Ira Brown giving away a lot of size. He goes up. Although it really wasn't down to his size. It was just he was trying to get back. Jarrett saw the opening, so he went for the basket. Oh. Norio Sasa wondering what's happened to his team's free throw shooting today. It's disappeared. They seem to be missing everything. He makes one of two. Tagashi passed to Brown. He gets blocked by Jarrett. And then Mooney takes it away. And then Brown stays with it. And with all the contact, Jarrett is going to get whistled for the foul. Should be Brown going to the line. First foul, Jarrett. Ishimura coming into the game. Ikaruga also back in. So while Brex are three of eight at the free throw line, Chiba Jets are perfect, four of four. Four less free throws, one more make. Endo. Oh, two. Back to Endo for three. Ah! Not a bad attempt. This Tagashi. Boy, what I said at the beginning has proved not to be true. Tagashi made the first and hasn't went, made one since. Endo, however, almost made the, the one before that. He makes the second. And this 
Chiba Jet Team starting to get into a little bit of trouble here. Being outscored 11 to 2 in this second quarter. Nishimura, high arcing three. Nope. Ikaruga. Strong take by Ikaruga. Also kind of lowered his uh, shoulder to go into Tagashi uh, before scoring. Watch, watch how he goes right at Tagashi here at the end. He didn't lower it nearly as much as Newbill did when he got to the line. So 30 to 20. The second quarter has been all Ikaruga and Utsunomiya Brex. And the 29-year-old Ikaruga. He's got eight. He's got uh, six points, rather. He's got seven rebounds and, and one assists. So... And we have not seen uh, much of Takashima yet. He's played just under four minutes and has missed a couple of shots. And meanwhile, for Chiba Jets, Agawa hasn't scored in his four minutes, only attempted one shot. Nishimura, meanwhile, the backup, the 37-year-old, has uh, only played one minute and 43 seconds, and he's missed his only shot, that three-pointer that we just saw from the right corner. Mooney from the stripe. Beautiful release. Four and a half minutes to go in the first half. Mooney stops the rot. Botu, though, goes up and won. Good patience from Isaac Botu. Just a couple of fakes. So Mooney picks up the foul. That's his second. He goes out. Stevens, Cooks, Brown, Tagashi, and Nishimura in the game. Fotu misses. And then I think was over the line too soon, going for the rebound. So the Brex free throws have been missed for the most part today, uh, but they lead it by 10. Just imagine if they'd been making their free throws. This thing would be really ugly for Chiba Jets. Ira Brown's gonna sit down. Stevens, mid-range, good. Yajima lobs it, has it batted out. Good job by Stevens. And definitely Ikaruga with the foul. I wonder if that's a basketball play. I think that's what Patrick might be asking 
Is that really a basketball play? Because if it's not, shouldn't that be considered an unsportsmanlike? It's kind of, I guess he kind of just steered him out of bounds. Uh, Tagashi got the foul. A little bit of a recovery here, possibly for Chiba Jets. Takeuchi call for the foul. First foul on Kosuke Takeuchi. So Tagashi reduces the arrears to 32-26. Three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Newville has a look. Takeuchi gives it to Fotu. Takeuchi wide open. Pump fake. And he gets the one. Well, Chiba just just completely disorganized I don't know why Nishimura went out to guard on the perimeter they called the foul on Orio but Nishimura left that space wide open for Takeuchi So the three-point play by Takeuchi takes it back up to a nine-point lead. Tagashi bounce pass, Stevens for three. Ball saved in bounds, and then Stevens fouls Newbill, puts him on the free throw line. Although it looked like he could have been Brown. They really got him, but Stevens is going to go out. <laughs> Saw Newville miss a couple from the line earlier, and now he misses another one. As a team... Brex are now three of 10 from the charity stripe. Wow, unbelievable, what's going on? And then Mooney doesn't grab the rebound. What a missed opportunity. Boy, this could be ruinous. And sure enough, they pay the price because Newville drives right down the lane and scores. Tagashi gets two right back. Bill. Hooping is scooping. Fotu, a long turnaround. That's not really his game. He still almost makes it. And back to Mooney. Oh, Mooney. Thought he traveled for a second there. 37-30, minute and a half remaining. Biggest problem, in my opinion, for Chiba Jets, they just slip into these phases where they turn it over a lot. 
eight turnovers. And uh, 12 points have been scored off those turnovers for Brex. There's Sasa trying to get something clear. And meanwhile, Chiba has scored just two points off of four Utsunomiya Brex turnovers. So that really is the difference in the game. That and the fact that it could actually be worse for Chiba Jets if Brex were making their free throws, which for whatever reason they are not. Uh, Brex winning the B League in 2022 when they beat the Ryuku Golden Kings 2-0 in the final. Last year, they didn't even make it to the playoffs. Looking much better this, this time. Iojima. They have to put up a deep one. And despite going for the rebound, they don't get it. Now Chiba get it. And Jarrett's checked back into the game. And Grant Jarrett takes it away from Tagashi, but is whistled for the foul. I think Tagashi's very fortunate that that foul was called. That looked like Jarrett just picked and just reached right in and took the ball away. Back to a five-point game. Chiba Jets trying to get closer here before halftime. That was a tough sequence for Brex. Here's Newville. Worried about Cooks. What a matchup this could be. Pass into Jarrett. Oh boy. He can post up. He can shoot the three. He can shoot the mid-range shot. Even John Mooney didn't have the answer for him that time. Tagashi, ooh, looked like almost he had an extra step. Well, it could be the final shot. Should be the final shot of this first half. Chiba trailing by seven. Will Brex pile on the misery. Step back for Newbill. Misses everything. And that's how it finishes. Newbill really hasn't been in his best. And that's a good thing for Chiba Jets because otherwise this game might be over. It's 39-32. Utsunomiya Brex on top of Chiba Jets at halftime.
Well, the first half has been really good stuff. Uh, Chiba Jets, not at their best, though, turning it over, and that's been a problem, leading to uh, numerous points for this uh, Utsunomiya Brex team. And uh, for fortunately for the visitors, uh, they haven't been fully punished for all of their – well, they have been fully punished for their turnovers, but uh, – Brex have missed some free throws, just four of 12 from the line, uh, but they have scored 12 points off the turnovers. Hiyajima has been solid. Endo, solid. Uh, Fotu has been solid. Uh, Ikaruga and Jarrett. Uh, really, the only player that hasn't gotten it going has been New Billy's two of six, but it's not a disaster. Uh, they've got the balanced scoring attack, and again, it's just been the missed free throws that have been the big problem. Chiba Jets have been hanging around. Beautiful play here behind the back pass to Stevens from Tagashi. This was Hiyajima hitting that big three. And you just kind of get the feeling right now that with Brex on top, they've got their noses in front. It's going to be awfully difficult uh, to come back against them, even though the deficit is uh, seven points. Here's Ikaruga driving in and scoring. And that's where we are at halftime, 39-32. And again, the free throw shooting for Brex has not been great, but everything else has been solid. I mean, the 2 of 15 from deep for Chiba Jets is just head-scratchingly bad. Tagashi made his first, uh, but hasn't made one since. And that has been an issue for them as well as, as the turnovers. Uh, 23 rebounds apiece. And you look at the... Points in the paint, 18 to 12 in favor of Utsunomiya. And you've also got 13 bench points for Brex compared to five for Chiba. Those two stand out to me. Scoring leaders for Brex. So you got Futu. And Jarrett, each with 7-6 for Hijima, Endo, and Ikaruga. Rebounding leaders, Ikaruga has 8-4 for, for Fotu. Hijima, Takeuchi, and Nubel, each with 2. Eleven points for Tagashi. And uh, Tagashi is three of nine from the floor, just one of five from deep. Rebounding leaders, seven for Mooney to go with his eight points. Mooney's not been too bad. He's four of six from the floor. And you look at the point guard comparison. So the second half underway and Chiba Jets missing with their first attempt. And there 
is a three-pointer by Takeuchi. There's a little floater from Tagashi missing. Takeuchi missing it from a long way out. Here's Cooks. Didn't allow him to turn into the lane to the right. And Ira Brown missing it from the wing. Oh boy, that was a tough drive. Newville fouled by Cooks. And that was definitely a foul on Cooks as Newbill took a right at him. Boy, Newbill's nightmare continues at the free throw line. And Tagashi gets a wide open layup, so he gets the two points right back. Newville 0 of 5 from the line. Endo. Newville from deep. Just feels like Chiba have been teetering on the edge of being knocked out, and then they make a little run just to kind of stay within striking distance, but still not clinical, nearly clinical enough at the offensive end. Jima kind of drifts in, puts it up and in. Just kind of felt his way in and shot when the time was right. Oh boy, Cook's pass intercepted. Bounce pass, 0-2, gets fouled. Beautiful bounce pass. So Ryle goes out. Stevens in. Mooney in. Brown. Tagashi. Okura. Close to not getting that basketball before it went out of bounds. That would have been a disaster. Facing their biggest deficit of the game, 13 points. Tagashi hits the three from right near the elbow. Newville from deep. Wow. Well, he may not be hitting his free throws, but he's doing enough to wreak havoc. And 
Fotu wins that battle. Mooney saying he was pushed out of bounds, but the referee says he stepped out of bounds. And 14 points separate these two teams. Certainly seems to me like Mooney had a point. Yajima passes to Jarrett, does a great job making the catch. Newville puts it up and misses everything. Tagashi on the break. Oh, goodness me. Look at Stevens go up for the putback jam. The question is, are they going to count it? Wow. I don't care if that's not going to count. That's one of the plays of the game, right? Look at this. Coming in. And then turns that rim into his own little uh, personal jungle gym. So they're not going to count the basket. Uh, but I think the fans... Both Chiba and Utsunomiya looked on with a little bit of a wonder as uh, Stevens showed his great athleticism. His bounce pass over to Mooney. Jarrett for three. Tagashi in the paint, gets the foul as well. So going to the line for a three-point play. Tagashi showing some quality here. Ikaruga drives the left, finds Jarrett wide open, and he's short. Stevens rebounds. Long time to go in this one. Here's Tagashi again. Pulls up. He's already made one from there, but this one is short. Stevens going for the steal. And that miss, Fotu. Oh, and Fotu scores. He's been really good today. 10 points. in Kagashi three-point attempt gets blocked he gets it back pump fake bounce pass to Mooney and Mooney gets an end one 
Great awareness, patience, concentration for Tagashi. And uh, when he sees Mooney, it wasn't blatantly obvious that Mooney was going to be open, but those guys have played together enough to know that in that situation, be ready. Here's Mooney at the line. Wow, what is going on at the free throw line? Tagashi for three. Oh, it's a five point trip down the floor. That is a significant sequence. Closes the gap to eight. So Chiba have now been outscored by just one point here in the third quarter. As bad as it's been, very reminiscent of the first quarter. Newville. Jarrett. Jarrett backs up, turn around, short. Boy, Sasa might need a timeout. Achieve a score here. Mooney takes it, makes it. And Sasa does indeed call timeout. Well, it's great. Comeback for Chiba. And I think the, the frustrating part, really, for John Patrick is he knows his team, when they, when they play hard and they execute and they're smart, when they play smart, play hard, play together, you know, they can get it done. Uh, there are just phases during games when they're not making good decisions. And obviously, a lot of that has to do with the op opposition's defense. And again, they're very fortunate uh, with Usonomia Brex and their uh, poor free throw shooting today. Shot. Defense! Defense! pass, Mooney. And puts it up in a stripe and makes it. It's a four point game. Jarrett. Let's see the Jets. It was not looking good for the first five minutes of this quarter. Oh, Mooney travels. But they are right in it right now, down by four points. Here's New Bill. Otu back in the game. Watanabe launches it. And I don't know if that was blocked or if he just missed it all. Very dangerous, saving the ball in bounds under the basket. But they keep it, skip past Nishimura. 
And Nishimura, I think, was out of bounds. It's a couple of turnovers now during the comeback. The travel by Mooney, and now Nishimura stepping out of bounds. I think it, he wanted him to shoot it rather than to make his move for a drive. So two. So two has it. No, excuse me, Grant Jarrett. Uh, no, Takeuchi had it. Takeuchi's in the game now. Excuse me. Oh, great block by Cooks. He's going to take it all the way. And he draws the foul. Now, solid play by Cooks. He gets the block. Watch this. Hand straight up. Gets the block. And here he is. Little Euro step. And she's probably fortunate to be at the line right now. But give them credit. They forced the turnover with the block. And uh, Cooks makes the first. I mean, he has got some skills, some length, some athleticism. If you can put it all together with this Chiba Jets team, it's going to make a huge difference. Just got to find his comfort zone with them. All right. This is the second. Don't understand why... That wasn't even close. He's now three, uh, four from the line. It's a three-point game. Chiba Jets offensively kind of struggling a little bit here all of a sudden. Right when they get really close. Newville just had his shot blocked. You know he wants to get something. Steps back. And they do not even get the shot off in time. Chiba Jets defense doing a job. And with 37.2 seconds left, they can tie it with a three or pull to within one. And I'm guessing that if Tagashi's open, he's taking a three. And if I'm everybody else, I'm driving the basketball. Here goes Tagashi, 13 second differential on the game clock and the shot clock. Uh, he decides to take the drive, and he scores. And Tagashi is starting to pour in the points, folks. He's got 23 with that. 7 of 16 from the floor. He's just 2 of 7 from deep. He has four turnovers, but overall, it's been good stuff from Yuki Tagashi. And Takeuchi, can you believe it? Right at the end of the quarter. And that is a big-time play, a big-time veteran play. And Takeuchi, I said before the game, I felt like he was playing well and an important part of this team. And he doesn't have to score 30. If he just goes out, rebounds, makes a couple of big shots, a couple of big plays, he is making a contribution. It's 55, 51. Yutsunomiya Brex on top of Chiba Jets. 10 minutes remaining.
to make it 55-53. And I'll tell you what looms large right now, all those missed free throws for Utsunomiya Brex, just five of 15 at the free throw line. Will they live to regret it? Okura, looks like he might have gotten away with a foul on Hiyajima. So two has it. Going right at Arayo and Mooney with a strong rebound. Kagashi, he could tie it and might have forced one up. Very eager. Newville. I'll tell you, Ira Brown's played a lot of minutes today, uh, but it's 0 5 from the floor. Two points, does have six rebounds in uh, almost 24 minutes per game. The former baseball player turned basketball, professional basketball player. Now Grant Jarrett comes in for Takeuchi. And Newbill, who just has not been at his best. He's been okay, he's got nine points, but four of 11 and from the floor, 0 of 5 from the line. He does have four assists and five rebounds. Another long one missed. Jarrett tried to keep it alive, but he hit it to Brown. Here's Okura. Now they need the ball movement here. Boy, Ikaruga was really putting the pressure on Tagashi. I don't like that shot, but you'll take it. And just like that, Brown, who's been quiet all day, makes a go-ahead three-pointer for Chiba Jets nearly two minutes into it. It's a sign of a good player, always backing himself, even if I didn't. Here's Zikaruga. Again, the pass to Jarrett. Brown on top of him, and he just goes up and scores. Just a terrific play from Jarrett. He caught the ball, kept it high, went up and used the glass, used the window uh, to knock it down. Could be that the fourth quarter is going to be the best quarter. Tagashi steps into, misses everything. And I don't think, I don't want to accuse Tagashi of playing hero ball right now, but he sort of is, really. He's got to realize it's still early in the shot clock, and it's not just about him taking those threes and drives. He's got teammates. Pass into the paint. Fotu knocked away by Cooks. Good job, Cooks. Here's Cooks. Takes the bump. And Mooney and Jarrett got away with a foul. They let him play. And Mooney now with 16 points. He's got 11 rebounds. He's having a very John Mooney-like game, including that spectacular dunk. Here's Iajima. He misses and Chiba Jets all the momentum right now Okura on the break I like it but it's too long and it's going to be white basketball the foul on Brex so the foul on Fotu is third foul Isaac for two, 10 points, five rebounds, one assist, two turnovers, one block, and we have a timeout, I believe.
Fotu's 10 points, a team high. But it's Yuki Tagashi's 23 right now that lead the way for Chiba Jets, who have trailed for most of the contest but lead it 58-57. They've trailed Chiba by as many as 14 points in this game. Meanwhile, they've led by as many as five. And they would love to stretch their advantage now. Here's Cooks. He's played very well in the fourth. A little bit of hang time. And this time Cooks called for the foul coming over the back. The push. Oh, trying to... Not saying he's going one on one, but like Tagashi, not really getting much from your passing game. You're cutting, making the defense work there. Grant Jarrett won that battle. Here goes Hiajima. Back to Ikaruga. Ikaruga with a little floater. And it's Cooks. Goes up for the rebound. And that's seven rebounds for Cooks, who only has three points. Here's Nishimura. Neither team seems to want it right now. Endo. Jarrett drives in. Oh, what a fantastic play. And I think had it not gone in, they would have called goal interference on Cooks. He's got 11 points, Jarrett. So many great games in the B League. Close games, packed houses, everybody enjoying themselves. Here, Brex Nation, as well as the Chiba Jets fans who had to wonder what kind of performance they were gonna get. And they're probably still wondering, is their team gonna be able to make the big plays late? Because they've been on a roller coaster ride today. Stevens missing, I mean, offensively, Three consecutive possessions. They haven't looked good. And great play by Okura, knocking the ball out of Hiajima's hands. That's great play by Okura. 13 on the shot clock. Drifting in and one for Hiajima. What a luxury. What a luxury to have a player like Hiajima. It's almost kind of surprising he doesn't get more touches throughout the game and definitely in crunch time. Uh, but Chiba has Tagashi. And Brex has this man right here along with Ikaruga. And Indo, to be fair. But, but Hiajima is really kind of at a different level from a scoring standpoint. He completes the three-point play. Four-point advantage for Brex. Chiba have been settling for jump shots. Here's Okura for three. Hiajima pushing it. I don't know, I think when you're struggling, you want to try to get something going to the basket. They got plenty of size out there as well. Here's Hiajima, feet set, good. Hiajima, suddenly the hero. And he's not playing hero ball either. He's letting the game come to him, 14 points now. Five assists, three rebounds. The cream is rising to the top. And that was right decision as well by Ikaruga. Fourteen now is a team high. Grant Jarrett has eleven. Fotu ten. Takeuchi and Newbill each with nine. And we're not playing great. 
what you'd have to say for both of these teams has been true today. You got to find a way to win, and you need somebody to step up. And Brex, see the foul foul issues. Brex have found a way to navigate the troubles, but Tagashi 23, Mooney, 23, Mooney 16, Steven 7, Brown and Okura 5 and 4, and maybe not as many scores in this team. They rely so much on Tagashi and Stevens with the four fouls, and then Cooks, Arayo, and Ogawa all with plenty of fouls. So, you know, you got to turn your head back. There are a few times there where Chiba Jets could have extended the lead. They did not. I felt like their shot selection may be a little bit left wanting. And here they are now, once again, trailing by seven. And the defense by Hiyajima forces the turnover. And that's a good call. No push there from Hiyajima. Oh, wow. And now an easy one for Hiyajima. He's got 16. Chiba Jets unraveling. Mooney stays with it, and then he is fouled by Fotu. See if there's a foul on this one. I mean, there was definitely contact with Hiyajima, but I wasn't convinced that was a foul. I mean, he was kind of, maybe his momentum carried him into a little bit. The easiest, the easiest thing to do is always to blame the referees, but you got to look back at the execution. And it just hasn't been there for Chiba Jets. They haven't, I don't think they've taken great shots in this fourth quarter. And now they're, now they're making free throws. I just don't think it's a good look just to immediately point your finger at the refs. Eight points, the difference. I mean, clearly they're frustrated. Mooney misses another free throw, and they save it in bounds. Hiyajima has it. Quickly to Fotu. Well, Chief have done such a good job at the line today. Uh, that was not a good time to miss one. And the quick response means now it is a 10-point game, and Chiba Jets were in position to get a really big win today against Brex and now find themselves chasing the game late. Ikaruga certainly distinguishing himself with his passing. Three assists now after that last. In fact, he may have four assists. No, I think it's three assists. Well, really feels like Chiba getting sucked into the blame game. It's somebody else that's doing it to us. It's not ourselves, but I just don't buy it. I mean, they have had their opportunities. Oh, and they've called 
Okay, so they've also called a, a technical on Tagashi. So that only complicates the situation. You have to maintain that mental composure, emotional control, whatever you want to call it. So they just lost another point. Here's Cooks for three. And it's just not happening now for Chiba Jets, who now are staring at another defeat. And Grant Jarrett collides with Agawa. I mean, that's definitely not Agawa's fault. Jarrett looked like he kind of stuck his right leg out there. I mean, yeah, it's a, you could call it a foul. Although I, I would even wonder if that was the case, but. Yeah, I, I'm with Patrick. I, I don't think it's an unsportsmanlike, but I think he definitely Stuck his right, kind of right leg out. That's why the, the contact happened. Watch this. Okay, guy was there. Well, no, he doesn't really stick his right leg out there. I mean, it's just a collision. They've got it right. No, it's definitely not a, it's definitely not an unsportsmanlike. Yeah, so two shots. I mean, you can't blame Chiba Jets for, for trying, but they're kind of clutching, clutching at straws right now. This game's gotten away from them. Ikaruga doesn't have to make all, doesn't have to score all the points, make all the free throws, dish out all the assists, or grab all the rebounds, but he does, he does do a lot in all of those departments. And he trusts his teammates. And they all get it done together, and that's why they're winning right now. That lob intercepted by Hiyajima. Beautiful play by Hiyajima, who's the player of the game, uh, for the way that he has gotten it done in this fourth quarter in money time. Endo, and that rubs salt into the wound. The lead has ballooned to its biggest of the game, 75-69. They have outscored Chiba 20-8 to in this fourth quarter. Chiba Jets have just gone off the rails. So Tagashi commits to foul, and I don't even understand this one. You foul, you put a great free throw shooter at the line. So he wants to challenge and see if this is an unsportsmanlike. Was he even playing the ball? I think Tagashi might be called for an unsportsman like here. It's been a tough fourth quarter for him getting the technical. And imagine if he gets an unsportsman like he's going to have to leave the game. He'll be ejected because he just had the technical. Oh, boy. He is lucky, in my opinion. He is fortunate to stay on the court.
I think probably even the Brex fans are fans of uh, Tagashi. They didn't want to see him get execute, uh, executed. They didn't want to see him get ejected. Nobody's going to get executed. Tobin's text into the game for Chiba here late. And that is a sign that the white flag is up. Player of the game, no doubt, Hiyajima. 100%. 18 points for him. Uh, Mooney scores there. You know, he's had a solid game, but he's missed some opportunities, Mooney, today. I mean, it's, it's difficult to play that perfect game. Hiyajima again. Goes to, goes to work. DJ Stevens whistled for the foul. Go to showing his strength and Stevens fouls out of the game. Midweek encounter, these teams not playing each other again tomorrow. Brex will be going up against Shimani Susuno Magic. And that'll be on December 23rd and 24th. So you look at uh, Chiba Jets, what they have coming up. Uh, they got a couple coming up against Sendai 89ers on the 23rd and the 24th. Pointer and the putback is there for Mooney. Another dunk for him. Stat line is going to look good, but I'm sure he'd rather have the win. 78 63. 2 hands it off. Ikaruga pulls up and misses, but the ball did hit the rim, so they put 14 on the shot clock. New bill. Shot clock about to expire. Launches it. And Tagashi this time rebounds, passes up, and nice sharing of the basketball. Ogawa to Mooney, who runs the floor well. And Yuta Tabuse coming into the game. That last bucket gives Mooney now 23 points to go with his 14 rebounds.
Three-point attempt. I'm sure the fans would love to see Tabuse get a shot up. Gonna get one last shot. No, they're just gonna hold on to it. That's it. It's a resounding win. Pulling away in the fourth quarter for a 78-65 victory over the Chiba Jets. Seventy-eight, sixty-five. 68-65, Utsunomiya Bricks win it over the Chiba Jets. 23-14, they outscored them in the fourth quarter. Takeuchi with that big three-pointer at the end of the third quarter, I think it was. There's Tabuse, who likes to do my job, get on the mic. Right now, still playing. Tagashi, Mooney, and uh, just a real indicator of how tough this has been. And again, you can see the next two opponents coming up. Sendai for Chiba and... Shimane Susanu Magic for Utsunomiya Brex. That'll be, those games will be on December 23rd. Brex will be at home against Susanu Magic. And uh, Chiba will be playing at Sendai 89ers. So here's Norio Sasa talking to the crowd in Japanese. We'll try to get some of these remarks to you in English. え、ま、本当にこの、こういうところ解決していかなきゃいけないっていう、ま、頭も使いながら、本当に選手疲労困憊で、皆さんの本当に圧倒しっていうのが本当にあの、助かってるので、本当に今日ありがとうございました。試合
、えー、気持ち味わったので、はいえー、こんこ今シーズンは、はい、島根や相手に2連勝してやり返して頑張りますありがとうございました竹内光介選手にお話を伺いました。Takeuchi also started off by saying, Well, we suffered and lost、uh, to Kyoto Hanars last weekend, so we had to come out and win today's game. He said thanks to everybody once again、uh, for giving us the support. Here's Ikaruga. Seiji Ikaruga certainly has his fans. He said, We'll work hard and keep on going. Yeah, it had to be Hiyajima. He's the player of the game. え、本日比江島選手は18得点の活躍でございました。振り返っていかがですか？いや、ま、前回あの悔しい負け方してしちゃってしまったんで、あのはい、切り替えてやろうと決めてました。4クォーターから急にギアが上がりましたね。いやい
Mooney had the monster game stat-wise. 23 points, 14 rebounds. DJ Stevens knocked down that three, but he only finished with seven points. That was that sensational two-handed jam by Mooney. And then you had, look at Endo celebrating over there with the head wobble. Hiyajima stroking it from deep. Hiyajima today from three-point range was three of five. Endo was three of six. Takeuchi was two of four. Newbill just wasn't nearly at his best, one of eight, but everybody else stepped up. Mooney knocked down that free throw line jumper. Takeuchi again, great body control. And in the second half, Takeuchi came out and hit his second three of the game. Good start. Then Hiyajima just feeling the defense where they were. I think the problem there is that they allowed him to drive. Just got to step in front of him. Tagashi, meanwhile, again, new bill. You think about it, 46 combined points for Tagashi and Mooney. So they scored 46 of Utsunomiya's 78 points, uh, excuse me, of uh, Chiba's 65 points. So more than two-thirds of their points, but there's more balance, better balanced attack for Utsunomiya Brex. That was good hustle from Fotu. Takeuchi, that was the three right at the end of the third quarter that stretched the lead to four. I think I've got my quarters right here. Mooney getting the jam. Hiyajima. Endo knocking down the three. So the celebration on for Brex. 78-65, they went over Chiba Jets. 18 of 38 inside the arc. They hit 10 of their 33 shots from deep, six more threes than Chiba Jets, and they overcame a difficult day at the line, just 12 of 23. That type of performance can cost them, almost did in this game, in fact. Uh, they were out-rebounded in the end by Chiba, 50 to 42. They turned it over six times compared to 15 turnovers for Chiba Jets. 18 points off turnovers they scored. Meanwhile, Chiba scored just six off the turnovers. 34 points in the paint compared to 32 points in the paint for Chiba Jets. Um, they had eight second chance points compared to 15 second chance points for Chiba. 
Fast break points. 12 for Chiba and 12. I believe it should be 12 apiece. 19 bench points for Utsunomiya compared to 7 for John Patrick's Chiba Jets. So not much production coming from the bench today for Chiba. And really, the, the really only score production was uh, the top two there. You see 23 apiece for Tagashi and Mooney, whereas Utsunomiya had a much more balanced attack. 18 for Hiyajima, 14 for Fotu, 11 for Jarrett. Also had three other players with nine points and one player with with eight. And then from a rebounding standpoint, Mooney's 14 were a game high. Ikaruga had eight for Brex. Jarrett had seven for two. And then assist standpoint from an assist standpoint, Hijima with five assists, four for Ikaruga, four for Newbill, three assists for Tagashi. These are the games coming up. So Brex at home to Shimani Susanu Magic. And you can see Chiba Jets on the road at Sendai 89ers. Those games will be coming up just in a few days' time, December 23rd. Well, Chiba Jets came here with a chance to get a big road win, and they were in position to do so in the fourth quarter, but just could not make the plays they had to. Mia Brex. Uh, get the big home win in front of their fans. Thanks for watching, everybody.